The day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. Nikola Tesla Freak Physics explores the outer fringe of the physics world. Join us on our journey to explore new discoveries and merge them with existing ideas and principles. Although we discuss a variety of physics, our main focus is on energy, vibration and frequency in honor of Nikola Tesla. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. Nikola Tesla The following is a wonderful film The Wizard of Physics. Created and produced by Marco Tempest in honor of Mr. Tesla. Be sure to stay tuned after the film for the physics behind this film in a special making of feature segment. Enjoy. Hello everyone. I'm Marco Tempest and today I'd like to introduce you to a hero of mine. This is his story. It all began on a dark and stormy night. It was the 10th of July, 1856. Lightning lit the sky and a baby was born. His name was Nikola, Nikola Tesla. The baby grew into a very smart guy. Let me show you. Tesla, what is 236 multiplied by 501? The result is 118,236. Tesla's brain worked in the most extraordinary way. When a word was mentioned, an image of it instantly appeared in his mind. Tree, chair, girl. They were hallucinations which vanished the moment he touched them. Probably a form of synesthesia, but it was something he later turned to his advantage. Where other scientists would play in their laboratory, Tesla created his inventions in his mind. To my delight, I discovered I could visualize my inventions with the greatest facility. And when they worked in the vivid playground of his imagination, he would build them in his workshop. I needed no models, drawings or experiments. I could picture them as real in my mind. And there I run it, test it and improve it. Only then do I construct it. His great idea was alternating current. But how could he convince the public that the millions of volts required to make it work were safe? To sell his idea, he became a showman. We are at the dawn of a new age, the age of electricity. I have been able, through careful invention, to transmit with a mere flick of a switch electricity across the ether. It is the magic of science. Tesla has over 700 patents to his name. Radio, wireless telegraphy, remote control, Robotics, he even photographed the bones of the human body. But the high point was the realization of a childhood dream, harnessing the raging powers of Niagara Falls and bringing light to a city. But Tesla's success didn't last. I had bigger ideas. Illuminating the city was only the beginning. A world telegraphy center. Imagine news, messages, sounds, images delivered to any point on the world instantly and wirelessly. It's a great idea. A huge project. Expensive too. They wouldn't give me the money. Well, maybe you shouldn't have told them it could be used to contact other planets. Yes, that was a big mistake. Tesla's career as an inventor never recovered. He became a recluse. Dodged by death, he spent much of his time in his suite at the Waldorf Astoria. 
Everything I did, I did for mankind. For a world where there would be no humiliation of the poor by the violence of the rich. Where products of intellect, science and art will serve society for the betterment and beautification of life. Nikola Tesla died on the 7th of January, 1943. His final resting place is a golden globe that contains his ashes at the Nikola Tesla Museum in Belgrade. His legacy is with us still. Tesla became the man who lit the world. But this was only the beginning. Tesla's insight was profound. Tell me, what will man do when the forests disappear? When the coal deposits are exhausted? Tesla saw the, the answer. We are still asking the question. Thank you. From the very beginning, the idea was to be interacting with a small figure of Nikola Tesla as he recounted the details of his life. He's a guy who had his legacy stolen, and there are too many people who have no idea who he was. The technique of projection mapping is often used on locked off surfaces. This wasn't the case in this project. The combination of an old-fashioned pop-up book with digital projection seemed to be the perfect fit to tell Tesla's story. I worked with a 3D pop-up designer in Germany who worked from our initial 3D sketches. Once they were completed, we had to measure them using 3D spatial scans. Then create a piece of software that for each scene finds the geometry and enables us to project on them. The face mapping module is another piece of technology that had to be created. The projected and animated image adheres to the mask as I move. It was an incredibly complicated task. If you are projecting a face at the same time as you are acquiring information on where it is, you end in a feedback loop. We had to completely change course and implement a tracking based on infrared LED tracking markers. We wanted the piece to be about Tesla, which is also why there is zero magic in the piece. There is not a single moment where something appears or disappears or animates. It's magical, but I didn't want people to talk about me being a good magician. It had to be about Nikola Tesla. We wanted him to interact with Marco, and it turned out that having a moustache and the right outfit worked wonder. The production was done across the globe, us being in Switzerland and Marco in New York. I would get up early in the morning, test them, give feedback and send them back to Switzerland, where they would be rendered again and sent back to me in New York. Designing the perfect scenes involves many tweaks and numerous versions. We did 17 iterations of the final output. Maclaricor did an amazing job creating the music that leads us through Tesla's life and gives the audience a glimpse not only into his genius but also into the gentle and beautiful soul of this true wizard of physics. We hope you enjoyed this video and for more lessons and videos go to freakphysics.com.